This video covers the steps of installing your rear facing car seat with a locking clip. Begin by locating the locking clip on your rear facing car seat. If you are unable to find the locking clip, please contact Graco's Consumer Services. Next, buckle your seat belt through the rear facing belt path. Next, we're going to remove the slack from our seatbelt. Press down in the center of your rear facing car seat while feeding the slack in the seatbelt up into the retractor. Next, pinch your lap and shoulder belt together above the buckle. Unbuckle the seatbelt while holding the lap and shoulder belt together. Next, attach the locking clip. When attaching your locking clip, the locking clip should be less than one inch away from your sliding latch plate and all four prongs should be on the top of the seatbelt. The seatbelt is now locked. Rebuckle the seatbelt while pressing down in the center of your rear facing car seat. If you are not able to buckle your seatbelt, your locking clip has made the seatbelt too short. Please reapply the locking clip so that your seatbelt is slightly longer and try to buckle your seatbelt in again. Your locking clip should still be less than one inch away from the sliding latch plate and all four prongs should be on top of the seatbelt. Next, test for tightness. Grab both sides of the rear facing car seat where the seatbelt is routed through the rear facing belt path. Firmly shake the seat side to side and front to back. Your rear facing car seat should not move more than one inch front to back or side to side. If your rear facing car seat moves more than one inch front to back or side to side, repeat the installation process until your rear facing car seat does not move more than one inch side to side or front to back. When checking your level indicator, Make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Identify the level indicator on your rear facing car seat. Make sure it falls within the acceptable zone. Close to your level indicator is a label identifying the acceptable zone for your rear facing car seat. If your level indicator does not fall within the acceptable zone, uninstall the car seat, adjust the recline angle, reinstall your car seat, and check your level indicator. Make sure it falls within the acceptable zone. Your rear facing car seat is now correctly installed with a locking clip. 